Corazato, where have you been all my life? So you could start to see how you could take these out and make them into hybrid craziness. Hi, I'm Don Baden from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're going to be doing a first look of Forzo, the brass library from Heaviosity. Heaviosity's David Fraser said that he knew they had to go back and record brass after the feedback and success of last year's Novo Modern Strings Library. I, of course, have a first look video and review of that. Be sure to include a link to it below. When Heaviosity went to go and approach brass, they teamed up with composer Jason Graves and a score engineer, Satoshi Mark Naguchi, and recorded this library in Skywalker Sound. Library downloads is 25 gigabytes. It's a sample set recorded from 12 horns, four trumpets, eight trombones, and two tubas. And as you'll see, it's in the same engine as a Novo the string library they had so much success with last year. It contains not only the traditional organic brass instruments, but also evolved hybrid cinematic NKIs with a brass designer and 400 tempo synced loops. Library is a contact player instrument, meaning it's NKS compatible and loads right into your libraries tab. Works with both the free and full version of contact. It retails for 549 US dollars. There's a special two week promo going on. It would be 399 US dollars. In this video, I'm just going to be doing a first look, playing through the instruments, checking out what they sound like and what some of the different um, functionality is so we can just hear it. I've only opened the instrument once to make sure everything loads correctly. And uh, yeah, we're going to be seeing it together for the first time. As you can see, I've got the horns, 12 loaded up. This is in the traditional folder. And here we've got 12 horns. 12 horns stopped trumpets, tenor trombones, the bass contra trombones, tubas, and then the full ensemble. So with the horns, you'll see we have staccato articulations. And I need to trigger them. There we go. These all... Yeah, everything's controlled with your uh, MIDI CC1 for your dynamics. And then there is an expression going on here with MIDI CC11. Instrument kind of uh, some rather unusual labelings. You'll see our next articulation is portato. Um, that means literally carry, like to hold, um, or carry in Italian. So it's sometimes referred to as like mezzo staccato. And it's often used for notating for articulated legatos. So a legato that would have a heavy emphasis for each note. Also have a long sustain. Yeah, these sound really nice. I really like the sound of this. I mean, it's recorded in in uh, Skywalker sound. Um, 
if you've been asleep for the last uh, 30 or 40 years, that's um, that's where so many of the amazing scores we hear, especially, you know, all the Star Wars series. Sforzato. Now, Forsando and Forsato. I'm not quite sure. Those are usually with with like a lot of emphasis up front. Yeah, so it's it's almost like a sustained marcato. I do want to make a special note here to to let you know that um, not only is it do we have controls over dynamics with CC one and uh, some expression control with CC eleven. It's also velocity sensitive, which is really nice because it gives you the ability to kind of play in. And not always worry about um, getting your phrase to come out right. Uh, just with trying to get your CCs moved around, uh, the velocity combined with expression and dynamics makes it much more playable. We've got uh, sustains with pianissimo. Got uh, crescendos. And swells. Looks like uh, there's an empty slot here, which it's looks like you're able to go in and move your articulation into whichever slot you will want, as well as some of the extended, which is really cool. I didn't expect this. We've got clusters. <laughs> We've got cluster crescendos, cluster swells, cluster bends. Seasick bends. Yeah, I like those a lot. And atonal pedals. There's an extended range. We've got waves. So there's a lot of motion in those pulsing beats. As well as pulsing beats wide. So you hear those bounce around a lot in the stereo spectrum because they've got the 12 players uh, playing in different at different times from left to right. Flutter. Flutter's wide. And then random staccatos. And 
as well as atonal. In addition to our articulation, so let's look at we've got uh, density control here. And to be honest, I don't know um, if that's... Ah, it's articulation dependent. Look at that. So here's our random staccatos. And we can control how many staccatos we want to happen in a dense amount of time. I am assuming it's kind of cool. So with that, seeing that in action, we're able to see that we've got the ability to change our swell, tempo sync it to uh, half a bar, a full bar, two bars, which is great. Crescendo, same thing. You can tempo sync that. And then there aren't any, uh, except for our shorts or staccatos. We already talked a little bit about that. Yeah. I've also got down here the um, main instrument mics. So we're listening to the full now. Um, actually, we're listening to the all four together. And then we can mute and just hear a close. Just our room. And our hall. Together they all blend nicely. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, so P is purge, if you didn't understand that. And so a great way to do uh, probably a lower sample pool would be to purge out um, everything but your full. Uh, if you just need to stay lean, but you still want to get uh, the instrument going. Boy, you know, this does sound like Skywalker. I'll tell you what. Uh, let's move on. Let's check out the horns stops. Stopped with crescendo. And stopped with a stop crescendo swell and decrescendo waves. Stopped clusters. Stopped clusters crescendos and stopped clusters swells. So we've got a whole range of those, and it looks like uh, it's kind of nice to have all the horns stopped as a separate instrument. Uh, the trumpets load up with, uh, looks like it's a, a similar set of um, articulations as our horns. So we've got our staccati. Portato. Long sustains. sound really piercing and her sforzato got 
got uh, Pianissimo. And I've got my dynamics and expression cranked up, so. crescendo and then we've got our swell and we've got an empty slot Let's see where we could do similar to our horns. So I'll just play a few of these to check them out. Let's listen to those wides and we'll play with our density. So it looks like we can MIDI CC our density amount uh, and we should be able to have a little more control in sculpting and shaping something. So in combination, you could get quite a quite a few at it. Um, there's quite a few layers to the engine. We've got envelope controls, EQ, filter controls, as well as um, performance and. And I'm not going to get into all the details of these. I actually don't use them a lot with Novo, so I'm not an expert. I'll of course include a link to take you over to Sample Library Reviews page where you'd be able to see all the official videos, any other reviews I find. Tenor trombones with the staccatos. <laughs> so much space and depth in these. Really nice. resonant. And we're going to get to those bass contra trombones in a minute, so we'll be able to hear some of those growlers. about the sound of this we've got the we've got the pianissimos listen to the close you can really hear the spittle but it's not in the close mics it's 
it's really in that room, Mike. And if anything, it's an accumulation where you actually hear that breath through the horn. I mean, you, you hear the tone resonating in the room, but you hear a little bit of that, uh, that, that breath, the spit, when you're playing right into the instrument there. And as expected, got a, a few extended articulations and some effects. That's uh, that's going to be the new theme song for sample library review videos, just like Lost style. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's move along. Uh, these are the bass contra trombones. Let's start with our staccatos. Mute my mic because I'll be hammering a little bit. Yeah, that's a really lovely sound. That's a nice growl. Sforzato, where have you been all my life? This is what I've been looking for for quite some time. Windows. And swirls. It looks like we've got a few. There we go. Don't get in the water. Clusters, unwide cluster swells. Those are nice too. And then we got some waves and flutters. So much bite in these. All right, let's get into the tubas here. Yeah. 
those crescendo bends are just fantastic. Yeah, and I think we've got some extensions that include just a few. The waves. Yeah, you just got two guys. They only got so much breath, and uh, they're they're doing their best to to uh, not breathe at the same time. Yeah, this is great too. I really love this one. Yeah. Now with something like this, um might be able to make something pretty cool. Already getting into something hybrid. Ah, uh, they're dependent uh, filters on um, microphone position. So you could start to see how you could take these out and make them into hybrid craziness just from the traditional instruments um we're gonna get to even more hybrid stuff with the, the evolved i'm sure of it one last traditional organic patch and that's the uh full ensemble and uh, i can't wait to hear it <laughs> Cannot stop playing C minor and F minor tonight. I don't know if they show where the overlap is or how this is put together um, because it's obviously most likely um, an accumulation of all of the other organic sample set. So I can't speak to it because I don't, I don't exactly know. <laughs> It's a very nice balance, though. It sounds very balanced throughout. That's why I just did that horrible uh, run up like that, just so I could hear how it was balanced throughout.
It's called a Brahm articulation. Uh, that one's fantastic. We've got some ensemble clusters. And some random fluttering. As well as uh, division for clusters. So low clusters. High clusters. And then atonal petals. So something like this, I could very much see myself digging into, playing around, and getting something going like this with it. stuttered riser, you know. Yeah. All right, let's move along. Let's check out the Evolved. These are the brass designers, and I believe there's just a ton of presets. Um, is it so? Yeah. So for these, the mod wheel will change our macros, basically. It's adjusting our filter here. And each one will do something different. So... sure how this one might be uh, played. I know that when they build these uh, presets, they usually have a vision for usage. might have a new go-to for ensemble staccatos right there, guys. That one's pretty epic. This one's called Epic Hans. I wonder what it's all about. Monster bashing. drive distortion over it in the uh, macro. You can hear this one really goes, you really hear that filter kick in. You see it's got a, a, an automation, so all I'm doing is controlling where that automation happens. <laughs> These are made up of a three-layer system. Got channel one, two, and three. You can load up 
different sets of instruments and really start to create some of your own. Let's move on to the ambience um, presets. That's a really, that's a really neat sound, the way it evolves. Uh, those of you who are familiar with Heaviosity will see one of our good friends, the Punish knob right here. As well as the twist. Yeah, some of them kind of suck me in. I, I know this is going to be a rather long video, so I sometimes trying to get through them so you could hear a little more variety. Uh, but sometimes the music carries me away. That's pretty cool. And I think uh, there should be a way to look at your channels. Here they are. And see um, what's going on with the actual waveforms and how they're being manipulated. Again, full video will take you over to, uh, full, a link below will take you over to the full video that'll explain all the details. Um, I'm, I'm just here to share the sounds. How high the moon. jump into the effects here. This one's called After the Storm. Yeah, that's really nice. And again, your macro just moves where your um, automation is going to happen. And you can see um, we've got our clusters uh, up, you can see how you're able to load the different ones. So we've got two sets of clusters and some trombone sustains there. So that's what's giving us the sample set, and then the uh, macros are affecting everything. <laughs> that was unexpected. Little pan uh, delay there. Very uh, well named. These names sure do communicate quite a bit. Um, I mean, as as 
abstract as this uh, hybrid instrument is? Like, I could totally see myself pulling up jump scares when I need to score something that needs something just like this sound. All right. Moving on to some of my favorite uh, presets in the Novo series. So let's see what Forza has to offer with the rhythms. So you can see we've got sequences going with these hybrid um, manipulated sample sets. is the different zones here you can tell by the different colors they actually do different things when you play them so so you got three basically three different hybrid hybridized sample sets kind of moving away. And then our final set is loop combos. We've got straight ambience, motifs, and rhythmic combos. Let's just check out a couple of these. Has a lot of cool stuff going on for an ambient combo uh, motif. It's getting really wacky with the motifs. Yeah, that's 
really neat. Very inspiring, that's for sure. And then last uh, of these are the rhythmic combos. <laughs> And then we've got our brass loop designer NKI. And it's got a number of straight, straight reverse triplets, triplet reverse, and performances. So let's just bro bro browse through a few of these. Okay, so the way this is set up, you see the purple keys trigger everything uh, for the other three blocks. So we've got one block here, green keys, green keys, teal keys, and orange. And the purple triggles all at the same time synchronized. And then all of our red keys change our, uh, our root node. And it would take a little bit of coordinating to get it to, to uh, not sound maybe um, as synthetic. Wow. Yeah. Let's listen to some of the reverses, mids. cool. With the reverse alone, it creates a whole new set of what's possible. We've got the similar things, only these are triplet patterns. And these, uh, yeah, these are fantastic. We've got the hybrid one in the middle with the teal. Yeah, this is really cool. I'm really digging these. Got some performance combos. I don't know what that is, but. Okay, 
so. It's nice. It's You can see across the keyboard here, it's selecting a different uh, set, so not matched octaves like we had been. Yeah, very nice. Very nice stuff. Triplets. And then we can initialize it and build our own, selecting our own rhythms, dealing with our macros, and the designer, which uh, there's a, here we go. Here's our option overlap, which I had asked about. Wow. I'm pretty impressed with Forzo and what Heaviosity have done. To be honest, I wasn't quite sure what they were going for. Uh, I know they kind of sprung it, and I heard the demos, Jason Graves' demos, were fantastic and exciting, but you never quite know until you get to sit down and just pluck through the instrument for a good hour on your own, or at least I don't. So I'm, I'm really a fan of what they've done here with Forzo, and I'm going to be incorporating this immediately, as in the pitch I'm supposed to start working on in the morning is going to have Forzo on it. Thanks so much for taking a little time to check out this first look video. Um, love it your thoughts please comment below what do you think about this is this something you're going to pick up right away and start using for you music love to get your support please like that little thumbs up does a lot uh share the videos on social media or subscribe 